what is now trending on Twitter is that this issue of Ruto being cornered <laughs> in France. <laughs> the leader of Francophone is cornering Ruto, asking Ruto tough questions, telling him to go back to Kenya and of course fix the country. But the question is, um, <laughs> this should be a reprieve, you know, to as many leaders, as many people. Now folks, we go on, let this time by saying hi to you. Now, um, of course, subscribe, we meet here always. And if you're new, uh, take your time and be following the channel. Of course, here we have nice contents. Now, um, the big question is, what is really happening in Kenya? Because it's like everything is going against the president. Even people from other countries acknowledge the fact that Lord Raila Moldinga is complaining um, no, Raila has been complaining and actually really saying that he is yet to do more tough, you know, things that of course will push Ruto, you know, into accepting the fact that he stole the elections. Um, yesterday, Raila Moldinga released some, uh, okay, told Kenyans how the four servers operated and how one server that was coming from Venezuela was operating from the Vene in Venezuela was used to you know um send information or data to the portal and they see that this this data this, this information the votes that were being sent to the portal were not the accurate ones now francophone then the little francophone was asking ruto to stop uh you know pretending and the person who is supposed to be the president is now complaining in kenya this is a video that is trending in Twitter. Actually, Muta Nguni, uh, you know, posted the video. Muta Nguni, the analyst, has just posted the video you know, on Twitter. And people are like, is the video real? Yeah? Do you think the video is real? Because, of course, we are seeing Ruto, you know, we are seeing the person is talking there, and Ruto, Ruto listening, yeah, desperately. Um, you know, he's being told to, you know, to let Raila Mordinga rule the nation. <laughs> he's being told to fix the country. Yeah. On I'm live live, no akuna kufiche, we we end a fixy country. Watch out, maneno, yeah. Mwenye na fakwa president ana complain Kenya. Apo we we kuapa, una tunanganya ni president. You know, I saw the video, uh, you know, on TikTok, and I thought that maybe this person, this is that someone was just, you know, uh, used a voice, and I thought it was fake, to be, you know, to be honest. But when I saw it on Twitter, I was like, okay, is this video real? Yeah. Is this Ruto being told these things? Yeah, being told how he rigged the elections. Um, it seems that the world is not has not, has not has not accepted the fact that Ruto is the president. The world did not believe that Raila could lose to someone like Ruto because people believe that Raila is, is mighty in Kenya and can dispute it when it comes to presidential race. But the world is like, how comes Ruto? someone from nowhere yeah? someone who's never even made any attempt become the president yeah that's what, that's what, that, that's, what that, that's the situation because that person addressing root is like you really saw the victory yeah you saw the selection how comes you're the president the person who's supposed to be the president is there you know um complaining yeah you're, yeah, yeah you are telling us how you are the president so <laughs> my people i would like no like do you believe like this video is real. Is it authentic? I do think the video is a. Uh, do, do think this was what really transpired? Yeah. I'd like to tell me because it's trending on, on Twitter, and I'm telling you saying that it is disrespectful for a, pra, a francophone leader to sommeil our president just like that, with no proof that he stole the elections. <laughs> Vitus na moto i Kenya. Yani vitus na moto i Kenya. We are yet to witness more things. Of course, subscribe, guys. Uh, we meet, we meet next time. And of course, if you are, if you like the video, comment. You know, share it so that it reaches so many people. Thank you for watching. See you soon.